welcome everyone to another episode from Jin's Farm Walkabout. I'm Kai, today's Saturday the 5th of October, I was out yesterday, I didn't film nothing yesterday because it was my birthday and I don't like any of you that much. Be serious? Nah, I'm joking people. Basically, I just smoked a load of magic fags, me and Pete did a big bottle, of, well we did a bottle of whiskey, Jack Daddy was funny, both of us got lit. Um, and he did, in all fairness, didn't drink because he didn't really like whiskey and I didn't realise that I was on the bottom of here. Let's be straight up. This is my whole new setup. I'll give you a rundown of all that in a minute. But what can I say? Lovely and cough. Obviously, as you could probably say, I got a new knife. More Garberg. I'll show you that as well in a minute. And obviously, belt loop for my axe, axe sheath. And I got myself a new folding saw. But other than that, it was absolutely cracking yesterday. I had a lovely night's sleep. It was really warm. And yeah, a big thank you for clicking on. Let's get on with the episode. As Pete just said, Bush Cookie 101. Here we got our basic, simple bushcraft bacon in a sense. It's being cooked over a fire. And just slowly, like as each bit it moves along, to do it. Obviously, right now I'm dying because of the smoke. Like Jesus, yes, Jesus. I'm asking you help here now. But got it slow cooking over the fire. It's just 10 to 10 right now. Been up a few hours, but it's all good and well. This is basically breakfast for everyone. They. Everyone enjoys it, unless you're a Muslim or, or a vegan. And if that's the case, there is something seriously fucking wrong with you people. Bacon. Fucking prerogative. Get some down here. Alright people, just going to give you a quick rundown of my shelter setup and everything. I hope you enjoy it, like what I'm going to be use, what I'm using. This is that uh, Titan Survival Cord, you know the stuff that's got the... Uh, fucking tinder thing in the, the fishing line and the sewing thread yeah this is that which is my ridge line obviously just in case this is a ripstop poncho like a thick one heavy duty flashing pattern me liking me poncho i also got the woobie to go with it but just didn't bring it with me because that's more of a summertime thing this is obviously my new head torch he is a fucking beast you light shit up like daylight at night. Obviously, I've just got it charging in a portable USB battery bank. Stick that over a sec. Obviously, my bag carry me shite in. But this ain't exactly a bivy that you'd probably see very often people using. You're normally used to seeing people using like the silk nylon type fucking ripstop looking plasticky fucking things. Yeah, well, this is a wax canvas. A wax canvas bivy. So, that's why it looks moist and damp there, but on the inside it's bone dry. Like it's fucking sick. So now we'll go actually inside my bivy and I'll show you the rest of the inside. And my seat is that. It just doesn't get Yeah, it got zips on both sides, the bivy. This is my Edley Three Seasons bag. It's waterproof, believe it or not. And you're going to go, Kai, why is it in a bloody bivy sack then? So then my roll mat don't go anywhere. Makes sense, yeah? But it's an... E I was, like, sleeping in it last night, it was fucking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a fucking... Nice for a sleeping bag to sleep in, to be honest. But, cops. My roll mat, as you can see... Is probably about that thick. So what's that? Probably like an inch and a half, two inches. It's like five centimeters, something like that. But that is that. I do have a a microfiber bag liner, and as a little bit of comfort, I got a Jalert camping pillow. Which is pretty comfy actually to be fair. But that is literally my sleep setup and shelter. 
Uh, absolutely cracking last night. Slept really fucking good. Same with... Yeah, just generally I just slept fucking good last night. But, yeah. As you can see, it's all sound on the inside. That's why he works canvas and that's fucking awesome. Really recommend wax canvas. Yeah, it's a tad bit heavier, but more durable by far. Now, I could sleep pretty much next to a fire with this because it's a canvas. I wouldn't have to worry about it getting fucking blim burns and shit in it. So, nice wax canvas, obviously. Say I was going up to do a... Uh, like a Brecon Beacon trip or something like that, and I planned I was just gonna say sleep outside and just be bivvy. I wouldn't get, I wouldn't want to do it with this bivvy in all fairness. I'd probably get a different one. But for what I do, this is more than enough. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, I got a. Uh, new kit, well, a load new kit to be honest, you're going to be seeing in the next couple of videos and shit. Yeah, being a canvas, obviously, it will get a bit dirty, but never mind. I'll just wipe it down and clean it. In the back there, I don't know if you can see it very well, i got a hiking pole. i got a set of two, one from me and one from me boy. But in all fairness, I'm probably just going to use them as like tent poles. They're fucking horrible things to use, I don't like them. But, yeah, that is basically my shelter setup. Everything there that I pretty much brought, apart from like my Tinder pouches and everything, is pretty much brand spanking new. Got it delivered Thursday, Friday. So, yeah. This is Ant's shelter setup. He's also using a poncho. He's got his uh, roll mat down, a sleeping bag, and his pack there. The rest of our stuff's over by the fire. So, I'll show you all the stuff over there in a bit. And this is Pete's shelter. It's a 3x3 three three tarp with a hammock. you got a roll mat in the hammock, and you got a British Army down sleeping bag, 58 pattern. And yeah, it's British Army Bergens over there in the background. Right, we slow cut the bacon. Pete said it's fucking beautiful and liked it. I got my coffee there on the tripod staying warm above the fire. But now it's my but now it's my turn for the taste test. Perfect, man. You, you normal people that stay in the city you don't know what you're missing out on. You should come to the woods just to cook bacon. 100% on that one. Right, basically, Ant and Pete's up there. We're going to a waterfall that obviously I know where it's to, so I'm taking them up to show them. It's absolutely a lovely one, so we'll show you it when we get there, people. So until then, I'll see you in a minute. Growth and ab or the abnormalities, people. Cool. But onward.
I did blow this back into life. Um, I thought I was recording, and it turns out I wasn't. <laughs> you didn't hit the red button. No, I did not, Pete. I did not hit the red button like a fucking amateur. You would think that I literally only started this like yesterday. <laughs> Blooper reel. What a what? Now, with any luck, people, it should catch fire. Right, I think the water is boiling nicely. Look at that, we've got a nice lovely running boil, uh, rolling boil. So that means the water is done. So we'll take him off, just very simply. Just 
UV tripod. Blue sky. So we try pods there, I'm gonna let it cool down and I'll get my coffee going. I can show you how to do a tripod in another video if you'd like me to. Leave a comment below and, and tell me if you would like. So yeah. Right. This is my coffee of choice for today, called Kenko three and ones. Obviously my bush pot. Hung up, boiled water, all done, and then I'm just gonna I apologize about airplane. But when you're under part of Bristol's flight path, there's not a lot you can do. I just stir up a nice lovely coffee. And then we just sit there and let it cool down. There you go. Right everyone, yeah as you can probably tell there's a fucking great light in my face. He's like 1200 lumens, bright as shit, but it's the only way I can really do this without the smoke and that fucking blind also getting in the way and fucking shit up. But basically, this is my dinner. Uh, pork and Bramley apple sausages. Sorry I'm getting blinded to fucking shit right here. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you back for a taste test. It's like being in fucking daylight. But yeah. Fucking beautiful people. Absolutely beautiful. Pork and Bramley apple sausages. Try them out. Alright, everyone. We're all in our sleep setups. Pete's in his hammock. Ants under it, uh, poncho like me. Um, yeah, basically it's pissing down. I don't know if you can see that. The fire, Pete and everyone's off down there. And Joe are just calling it a night. So, this is probably the end of it for me, people. So, I thank you greatly for clicking on, watching the video and everything else. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It, I generally enjoyed it. Tomorrow we're off home. So there ain't much else to show you. If anything happens during the night, I might bring you back, but doubt it. So until next time then, people. I love you and leave you. Have a good one and sayonara.